Hello, yo, what's going on? So with the giveaway finally under wraps, I can finally talk about some things. So one of the things that I see on the TMO by Facebook and the forum is they're going to finally crack down on mods for the umpteenth time in a row. Let me tell you why that's kind of a crock of shit. And why mods will never, ever cease to exist. And it's the same reason why piracy websites cease to exist or won't stop ceasing to exist. Also, if you look at the auto train that I have, I actually deleted my auto train. So, like, look at this. So, if you press use and then you delete your auto train, to get your auto train back, all you need to do is buy another one for two gems. And then you can just get that back easy. So you don't have to deplete your whole auto train. I used that just so I could get some extra space while I was doing Red Ribbon. Yo, I know I missed an entirely event. I see these guys. Oh, these freaking dope ass monsters. And I never figured out how to get them. And then by the time that somebody showed me, the event was already done. I, I apologize for not being early to the punch because they look cool as hell i'm pretty sure they aren't i'm pretty sure they are expiry so maybe we didn't lose, lose out on too much uh, but i do apologize that i wasn't there early and i just didn't find i just didn't find anything about the event until late all right let's kill off frieza real quick or my disciples gonna do that anyway So killing 10 bosses gets you 10 scrolls. So each boss gives you 10 scrolls, which uh, each boss gives you one scroll, and that's pretty good. But this video isn't about scroll hunting. This video is about why mods will never cease. And it starts off with these things here, auto train. So when you have a mechanic that deals with mods, you want to be able to make the mechanic as easily as accessible as possible. With auto train, even though there, there are only two gems, just for an hour of training, that is six gems a pop. And that's a lot. With mods, there is no barrier to entry. Things like 10 capsules pack, I've seen videos where people can go from point A to point B. I can probably go home in the time it takes me a transport capsule to get home so that's through this whole entire frieza planet all the way to morty village in the time that it takes me to just use a capsule like the like the original way beautiful second thing is with things like these these are the answers to mods to make training as easy as possible. Oh, look, I just got transported to a different zone, which is pretty freaking cool. But because the only zones that aren't interrupted by mini bosses are the first two zones, this transporting me to different zone doesn't really do anything. Watch, we're going to see a mini boss. It's just going to transport me to another zone, and then the cycle is just going to keep continuing. I just want to beat it. So I can get that. Oh, appreciate you. Oh. I'd rather do it in cold as well. Just get the most experience from cold. So if I were to go to. Zone 2. Alright, so Bacterian just joined me, right? So now I'm going to go to another zone. Just because my auto train detects that there's another mini boss plaguing me. Or in the worst case scenario, it actually doesn't teleport me out. I'm not saying that mods do this. Actually, I don't have much experience with that. Uh, I have, I obviously have touched mods. Uh, I think even in my old channel, there were videos where I explicitly said I am using mods for this video. 
and the efficacy of them hasn't changed. It some mods will auto avoid super monsters. Um, they'll teleport you to zones pretty freaking fast, and I I think there's also a mechanic where it automatically takes you to a zone. That way, you're not waiting for the the load time. Ah. So that timer right there, that is essentially non-existent because the mod will let you know, will try and get you to the zone as soon as that timer runs out, which is freaking dope. I'm not advocating for mods at all. What I'm advocating for is for mechanics to make mods obsolete. The only way that you can get rid of mods entirely is making a platform, making a way for people to have no use for mods at all. To bring back movie piracy, when Netflix first came onto the scene, when it was first popularized, I think it was like 2010, 2011, you had a huge selection of movies and shows. And because it was cheap, it was easy to access, people actually stopped going to pirated websites to watch content because it was easier for people to pay a price to pay for movies and shows or to watch movies and shows than it was to get the hassle of getting a VPN, finding a torrented link, making sure that link was safe. And it's the same deal for NGAC Wrong, where I'd rather pay for simplicity than risk safety in a different So some things that I would like to see in one of the games that I used to play, it's called uh, the Golden Capsule, where you would essentially you'd find capsules in various parts of the land, and when you collect them all, you actually get a free capsule that you can transport to any freaking map, any freaking island. And I think something like that is in order because look at this, we have so many maps nowadays. I I can't get to them all with this. So I think maybe branches of planets that we can go to and then just having a wider selection of places I can transport to. And then making that just more accessible. So being able to, I guess, maybe either have a gold option to pay for or making this like a gem cheaper. I think that goes a long way in reducing mod usage. Because movement is one of the biggest reasons why people use mods. Why would I spend... Why would I spend minutes, what, like 5 to 10 minutes trying to get to a certain area? And then risk getting so, so many connection errors. When all someone has to do with mods is just press two buttons and get to that place instantly. I do want to do an in-depth on mod usage. Uh, obviously, that would require me to use it. Obviously, I won't use it on any of my main accounts. I'll probably get a burner account of some sorts and test it through there. That way, my accounts aren't affected. Just to showcase to people the convenience of using mods and how it can be mitigated with action from the game. Uh, uh, hopefully people are still at this point. The only thing that I do want to talk about is, obviously, mods aren't ethical. Nobody said they're, they are. But one thing is for sure is they are convenient. And convenience is what people want at the end of the, what, what people want at the end of the day. If you do want to play by a moral and ethical standpoint, good for you. I, I could, I could give less of a shit. <laughs> I just want to play the game, and I want to play it as fast as possible. That's all I'm saying, and I'm pretty sure that's where most people come from on the side of mods. Yeah. There are other things that I want to talk about, which is the dichotomy of mods. So, in the English server, people are like, Oh my god, you mod? You, you are sinning. You are a fate worse than... Death. I hope you die and shit like that. People are 
nuts to butts when they hear mods. But in Vietnam, mods are a, a widely accepted and expected. If you don't use mods, you're actually the weird one. In and it's that flip that just makes it super weird. I never really understood it. Um, I was supposed to do like a podcast with like uh, 30 minutes to an hour with uh, with a, a Vietnamese English player. Uh, but that never uh, that never came into fruition. That was just my bad planning on my part, honestly. But yeah, uh, expect more parts. Ex expect more NGOC talk on lines in, in the future. Hopefully the audio uh, is not as terrible. Uh, I am still getting a new mic. So I'm praying to God that that new mic is saving grace for me. All right, see you.